I'm Mikey Robinson. I'm here at the National Museum of Australia to check out their project, Defining Moments in Australian History. Look, what we're going to do is we're going to go behind the scenes. We're going to check out some objects that tell the stories about these moments, about who we are. Okay, you punters know what that small gold cup is, but for the rest of us, it's a Melbourne Cup. And the Melbourne Cup is a defining moment in Australian history. I'm joined by Martha Sear. Hi, Martha. Hello. Good to see you again. Yeah. Now, horse racing goes all the way back to colonial times. It sure does, back to the very earliest days of the colony. So there were unofficial races in Sydney from the 1790s. Hmm? First official race in Sydney in 1810. 1810? Yeah, in Hyde Park. Oh, so that's why Hyde Park's that shape. Yes, it is. So exactly it was, right. It was, it was a horse racing track. Let's go back to 1861. The Cup says a lot about Melbourne. Absolutely. Uh, Melbourne had grown so quickly. By 1861, uh, Melbourne was only about 25 years old, but the boom of the gold rush, and there was a wool boom on at the same time, yeah. meant that it had grown from a tiny settlement up to a thriving city in less than 25 years. This is the era of marvellous Melbourne, isn't it? Yes. The, the gold, you know, the glittering streets, yeah. um, people were becoming quite wealthy, uh, and with wealth in Australia came horse racing. Came horse racing, came fashion, came, came, came glamour. Came punting. Came punting. <laughs> I mean, look, we, we, are, we are a gambling nation, let's, let's be honest. What is it about the Melbourne Cup? The Melbourne Cup is, is, uh, stands out because it's a two mile race for yep. a, a horses over three years old. Mm -hmm. It's a handicap. So uh, technically all of the horses in the race are kind of running equally because the horses carry weight depending on how successful they've been in their racing careers and how old they are. Oh right, so it, it is quite complex. So it's a fair chance that a mug punter like me could actually pick a winner. So I mean, technically any, any horse that's in the race yeah. could win. Tell us the story about the first winner, Archer. Well, the first Melbourne Cup, so it's, it's Melbourne Cup's being proposed as this premier event mm. for Melbourne. Um, one of the key entrants is Archer from that colony up north, New South Wales. There's a lot of legends around Archer that Archer walked from mm. uh, New South Wales down. Um, that's not really true. Oh. But, but <laughs> oh. I always like that story. Sorry to break the mystique, yeah. but the, but the, his legend remains regardless of the of how he got there. He 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 ran you know phenomenally in a race that was full of you know Amazing. mayhem yeah. really, um, and um, broke through to come first, so to be the first Melbourne Cup winner, mm -hmm. and then the next year to come back and be. The second. What is it about these horses that seems to capture our imagination? So every generation finds a horse yeah. that, that, that has some resonance with it, the way that people are living. In the 30s, you know, Farlap's story of, mm. you know, being a kind of gangly, ungainly kind of cult who turned into the horse of, a, you know, of a lifetime, of, yeah. a, of a generation, of a century, of the century yeah. um, really um, touched people's lives in, in that era of the Depression where, you know, life was tough and the story of a battler who, who could win really um, lifted people's spirits at a difficult time. Could this have been a race that was held anywhere else? I think it was the right time um, for, that, for that town. It, it, was, it was booming, it was uh, growing quickly into the city that, that many people believed would be Australia's um, natural capital city once it became a commonwealth. And people there felt that, and I think this race, which 150 years later is now... The race know, that stops the nation. Well, the race that stops the nation. Everyone in Australia stops. Everyone's glued to their radio, watching on their phone, watching on the TV. It might be the only day of the year that you might put your name in the hat for a sweep. Yep. Um, it, it was a race that developed alongside new communication technologies as well, oh, which is yeah. another thing that makes it a really interesting part of Australia's That's a great history. Point, yeah. So the early early results through the telegraph, ultimately then through radio, through Television. through film, film. You could go and you could like and behind me you can see a, a, a record. You know, it's the call of the race um, in the nineteen thirties, but it could be sent out to radio stations so they could play it. Oh, right. So so the, it, it's sort of been running parallel always. These new developments in technology have connected more and more people. And these days, everyone from um, the Pilbara, Alice Springs, um, Cooktown, everyone's following the race, whether they're in Australia even or even abroad. It's now an international event. Martha, on a personal level, what does the cup mean to you? For me, it's all about the horses. You, you like know. your horses? I do. I love the stories of all the horses, the personalities of the horses. Peter Pan um, won after he fell on the track and got bumped up by another horse. And he came into the winner's circle with a big screen smudge on his nose from the grass, you know, oh. Farlap, everyone looked at Farlap and went, you are, 
You are a bit ugly, you've got warts on your face. I don't think you're going to be a very good horse. And look what he turned into. The horses have so much personality. And so many great stories. And we've loved them. And I just that's where the connection comes for me at, with, with Cup Day. I always love seeing the horses and hearing their tales. The horse tales? Horse tales. <laughs> The beginnings of the Melbourne Cup is really a defining moment in our history because it's the start of Australia's most popular horse race yep. and probably um, one of our most important um, sporting events. Thanks for watching, but it doesn't end here. We want you to join the conversation. Go to the National Museum of Australia's website, that's nma.gov.au, and let us know what you think are the defining moments in Australian history. We'd love to hear your opinion. Once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.